What is going on resellers, hype beasts, and sneakerheads, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Duncan Beaumont, and in this video, we are going to be going over one of the most underrated sneakers of the year, the Amamaniere Air Jordan 3s. Now, these did originally release a few weeks back on the Amamaniere website and in Amamaniere stores. It was actually a manual feast. A ton of manual users were able to cop, including myself, as well as a bunch of members in my cook group, Alpha Alerts. There had always kind of been some rumors about a sneakers release, and we are finally getting one on Thursday, June 10th. These will be releasing on the Nike sneakers app as well as possibly at a few other retailers. So in this video, we are going to be covering how to cop from the second release, how to cop from the sneakers app, what other retailers will be getting these and all of that information. So if that does sound good to you guys and you do want to cop a pair of these on mom and year Jordan threes, make sure you do smash that thumbs up for some good luck copying. Also, if you are new to the channel yet, or for whatever reason you just haven't subscribed yet, definitely go ahead and subscribe as well. But anyways, guys, now that we do have that intro out of the way, we are going to head over to the sneakers app, and we're going to go over how to cop these Amam and Yer Air Jordan 3s. All right, guys, so as you can see, we are currently on the sneakers app. These will be releasing on Thursday, June 10th for a retail price of $200, and they will be coming in extended women's sizing, which should go up to maybe a men's 14 and a half, I believe. Not exactly sure if that's right, but it does go up extended, so that is something that's going to be pretty good. Now, as far as this release goes, Sneakers is actually looking like it's going to be the only really confirmed release. Not really a bunch of raffles have come out yet. If they do come out, if other retailers come out, I will, of course, update you guys down in the description. So make sure you either come back to this video or make sure you just check out that description to see if any other retailers are in it. Other potential retailers are going to be really just the high-end ones, Kith, undefeated maybe Dover Street Market those kind of high-end retailers maybe SNS those kind of places so not really going to be places that are really easy to cop manually from your best bet is going to be on the Nike sneakers app and if you don't know this is a 10 minute drawing a couple months ago they switched everything to drawings and since then basically it's been almost impossible to get multiple entries in if you do want to get multiple entries in, the best way to do it is to have a team of people, friends, family members, let them know what the sneakers app is, what shoes you want to go for, maybe create a group chat, ask them to do it, maybe you give them some of the profits, or if they're really close with you, if they're willing to do it for free, they can do that. And basically, just have a team so that every single account is actually an individual account. If you yourself are trying to get multiple accounts in with the same payment method, with the same shipping address, it's just not going to work. You want to have multiple entries in, but you want to do it with as different information as possible. So what I recommend doing, asking a friend, a family member, if you can borrow their address to have stuff shipped to, and then you just go pick it up, maybe ship something to your work. Figure that out, just get a nice setup going where multiple accounts, maybe you have four or five accounts with all different information, that's much better than 20 accounts with all the same information. Even two accounts with different info is better than five accounts with the same. So keep that in mind. As far as the payment methods go, you can check out a privacy doc or privacy cards, whatever. I use these and they do work. It basically just gives you a virtual card and it gives you a virtual card number to enter in sneakers and then that they'll charge that card and then it will charge you. So it's pretty simple and I definitely recommend using those. I'll have that website linked below. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I do use them and they work great. So definitely check that out 100% free. And as far as addresses go, jigging doesn't really work. You want to have completely different addresses. And then to get the entries in, use different phones on LTE. That's gonna be the best way to do it so that you have different IP addresses so that you'll have a different IP, different shipping address, different payment method, get all those entries in. And as far as stock on these go, you are gonna want to go for a size that less people are going for, but also has more stock. My cook group does offer stock for numbers for every single size. So if you do wanna join that, I will have our Instagram link down below so you can go ahead and shoot me a DM. It's only $15 a month. We offer tons of information. But anyways, that's basically it for sneakers. I did just wanna talk a lot of in-depth about how this kind of works and how to increase your chances of winning on the sneakers app. Hopefully that part of the video did help you out. So yeah, guys, that is just about it for how to cop these shoes. Like I said, the main release is gonna be the sneakers app. 
any other retailers that do end up announcing releases. I will, of course, let you guys know that down in the description. But as of right now, it is kind of looking like a sneakers app only release. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering if I cop, should I hold, should I sell? Or if you don't cop and you want a personal pair, when is going to be the best time to buy? So right now, I do want to head over to StockX and talk about some resale predictions and kind of just my predictions for what the market will do in general. Guys, so right now we're on StockX. We're taking a look at the current resale prices. Before the drop, these were going for thousands of dollars. Before the initial drop, they have dropped quite a bit. I have a size 10 and a half women's, nine men's. It's gone down a little bit. I think I paid 475 shipped, so not too bad. I also have a size uh, 13 and a half women's, I believe. So that has gone down a little bit as well since like the sneakers drop was announced. Now I am actually expecting these to see a slight increase in price post the sneakers drop because the sneakers drop is going to be the last chance for people to get them. So I see these jumping up to around 500 and then after a couple weeks or a couple days after people start getting their shipments in from sneakers, I do see prices dropping maybe around that 450 range again, but I'm not expecting stock on sneakers to be huge. Now, as far as whether to sell or hold, it all depends on your financial situation. If you only have enough for a couple more pairs of shoes, then I would probably just sell these, take that money, reinvest, quick flip, do that, get more money. But if you're not worried about overspending and not having any money for an upcoming drop, I would just hold these. I have my personal pair. I have another pair. I'm going to be holding the other pair because I think these are in a thousand dollar shoe and a year from now, they'll probably be somewhere around the $700 range. So I would probably just hold them. I think they're really clean. I think they're going to age really well. And again, they're 100% worth the hold for me. Whether you're going to hold them, that just depends on your situation, but that's what I would do. And as far as the best time to buy them, again, I'd wait about a week after the sneakers release. So somewhere in that June 15th to June 20th time frame, that's when you're going to want to buy them. Look locally, that's going to be your best bet. You're going to get the best price or buy them through someone you trust, a trusted seller directly, rather than through eBay, StockX, GOAT, where you're going to have to pay taxes, fees, shipping, all of that. Buying directly from a reseller is going to be your best bet, and that's how you get the best deal. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. As you guys can see, obviously, these are going to be very profitable. And if you like the shoe, luckily, it's not reselling for too much because before the drop, I remember prices were like $1,500, $1,600, $2,000. So they have come down quite a bit. I do see them going up long term, but I think it is going to take a while. I'm holding my pairs. I recommend you do the same. But if you don't have the capital, it's okay to just quick flip and reinvest that money into other investments. But anyways, guys, I do hope this video did help you guys out. I hope if you want a personal pair, you are able to pick one up on this one last chance to get them for retail. Super clean shoes, super underrated as far as the market goes. They're a little bit basic, but the quality, the premium materials, everything about this shoe I love. The details on it are crazy. And I think it's worth paying resale, especially if resale does come down a little bit. So that's something to think about if you do want a personal pair. But again, I do hope you are all able to hit for retail. Thank you so much for watching this video, though. Again, I do hope it helped you out a lot. And until next time, guys, peace out.